friends now we are coming on to the second important part of our ethics and values in engineering profession part initially we have covered the ethical theories part that is we talked about ethics now we are coming the second part and we will learn about values okay if we focus on our syllabus then exactly what statement is given the syllabus is ethics and values in engineering profession so we have learned about what is included in ethics now we will learn about what is mean by values and what are the values that we should know okay so first we have covered about ethics now we are covering about values and later on we'll cover about the third part that is profession what are the profession and what are the ethical codes in engineering profession and finally we'll deal about all the applied ethical concepts okay so now we will learn about values so first of all values are the individual principles or qualities that guide judgment and behavior of a person in other simple terms value imply preferences value imply preferences now if we read statements about ethics or about morality or about values then all these three terms seems exactly same but we have already understood the difference between ethics and morals what was the difference ethics implies the conduct code of conduct imposed by society in general sense and morals are the code of conduct what ought to do what not to do as per the own personal conscience okay so morals tends to individual level and ethics tends to the societal level that we have understood in a crude term in a simple manner now what are values you can simply understand values if i use the term reason okay whether it is your moral or whether it is your ethics you are saying morals are also standards of conduct ethics are also standards of conduct morals are related to individual and ethics are related to society that we have understood so where is the place of values so in simple term i will say values are the reason behind your morals or ethics you if you are saying we should do this thing and avoid that thing so why you are saying because there are certain things that you value it implies that you prefer certain things you prefer certain things over other things okay so what we have to understand is value implies simply your preferences if you prefer something then automatically your ethics or moral will flow from it so we can say values are the reasons these are the reasons behind your code of conduct behind your standards of conduct either morals or ethics okay so again repeating values are the individual principles or qualities one person can prefer one quality other person can prefer another quality and depending on this preferences their ethical conduct can also vary okay so again repeating values are the reasons behind your morals or ethics they are in simple term your preferences okay so we have understood what is meant by values now what we will understand is we will understand that there are some very basic human values which are universally applicable so it implies that everyone on this world on this planet give preference to these value over the other qualities or i can say there are humans throughout the planet which prefer these qualities over the other qualities okay so what are those basic human values now we will understand